I hope you guys are all having an inspiring day. Easy Auto Fix here, and today we're gonna learn symptoms of a bad radiator cap. The purpose of the radiator cap is to hold pressure in the coolant system and only open up at a specific PSI to release coolant into the reservoir. Once the engine coolant starts to cool down, pressure decreases and acts as a vacuum, which then sucks coolant back from the reservoir, through the cap, and into the system. Here's the location on a Toyota Camry. The first symptom of a bad radiator cap is having a coolant leak. More specifically, it will be coming from the cap itself. With the car on, pop the hood and keep your eye on the radiator cap to see if there's coolant leaking. If there is, then it's probably time for a new cap. In worse situations, coolant can escape from other areas, like from one of the radiator hoses, water pump, or even an engine gasket. The reason why this happens is because a stuck closed cap won't allow coolant to escape into the reservoir to reduce pressure in the system. This forces coolant to find its way out through other areas. The second symptom is air in the cooling system. If the gasket on the radiator cap is torn, then air will find its way through and into the cooling system. This leads to the third symptom, an overheating engine. Your car can overheat from loss of coolant or due to the air inside the cooling system. The fourth symptom is a collapsed radiator hose. Now when you turn off your engine and coolant starts to cool down, if the cap isn't allowing coolant to be sucked from the reservoir and into the radiator, there will be a vacuum inside the cooling system, leading to a collapsed hose. Magnificent! Thank you guys for watching, make sure to like and subscribe so I can see you in the next video.